All right, guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another match. I'm back with the one and only Grant Horvat. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, yeah, thanks for coming on the channel. He's one of the hottest kids on YouTube right now. And for him to actually come out here and just bless me with some of his time is a, is a pretty big deal. It's a really, real big boost for my channel. Um, so we're out here at Abaco. We're playing. <laughs> <my life. laughs> We're playing Abacoa. This it's a course that we both played a lot. There is a twist in today's match. We're playing match play, 18 holes. If you win a hole, you get to choose whatever tee box you want to tee off on the next hole. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, you, you get a strategy involved there. I mean, obviously, I can drive greens, and he can, you know, I hit it 230. So, so I mean, I would assume with that that format, I would assume that I'm going to pick the closer tees, and then Micah is going to select farther tees back. No, if I have one I can hit, and I know I can hit it, bro, I'm giving myself an eagle. He's putt. actually got a ladies flex shaft today. I'm not even kidding. Yep. It's a senior flex. Switching it up to the Fujikura Ventus Red because I have a problem with face closure, and this has been helping. So I've loved it on the range, but we'll see what happens here on the course. Grant, um, 18 holes, Tig. Flip that tee. 18 holes. All right. Dang. Actually, a good flight. Oh, that's okay. That that like I it missed it just right of the fairway, but that ball flight is ten times better than than the last 150 drives I've hit. There's always a little bit of tension between us in these matches, so we're really trying to kick each other's butt today. First swing out of the gate, he's a knuckler down the left side. Oh, just roll out in that fairway. This is a signature little. He does a little. Can't come on the channel and not not have the glorious presence of the cobalt show up on the first hole 162 I and mean, it's literally blowing out here today guys it's whipping so we got a nine iron we're downwind 162 yards it's pretty good didn't hit it good but it worked wow i'm tight all right 121 i'm gonna go full 54 should be a great yardage i mean aim a little left that wind is pushing pretty hard to the right, so. Holy shit. Oh, no! Oh. oh. I didn't think in any universe on this. All right. The, oh my God, it is blowing, Jacob. If you guys can hear me in this monsoon, the one thing about me now is I'm always going to have a different putter. A bit, I mean, almost every time I show up. Today we have a spider tour x in the back i just i just want it to be a mystery every time i show up to the golf course i'm just looking to try to find some break on this the wind is blowing so hard it could actually affect it it's definitely gonna break a little to the right but i'm gonna play it pretty straight because the wind great putt. thanks I need to do this to you take on the first hole That win! All right, well, after the first hole, all square. Par five into the wind coming up. Next hole is a mammoth today. It's straight into the wind, off the right, blowing towards the water. Especially with Grant hit the draw, that's a problem. All right, guys, so, so nobody won that hole. So we're gonna play the same tee box. Another low one, I'm gonna aim over these bunkers over here. Hopefully the wind pulls it back. Dude, that looks sick. That looks pretty cool. That is that wind is blowing so hard. I actually smacked that, and I think I barely covered the bunker. You got that thing nice and low, Tig. I, I respect it. Whoa! Oh, is that happening? Way up! Way up! Alright, so common question amongst YouTubers playing with tour pros like yourself: What's your favorite moment on tour? I mean, I would say. Cool, we'll, we'll check back in. Guys, I gotta go for it. This is a match play situation here. We're on the side of a hill. Tig's gonna go for it with an iron in his hand. He's probably gonna make birdie, so we gotta rip a three wood here. We got a hard crosswind. Gotta go for it. You gotta be 
That hit. shot was absolutely ridiculous. I did not hit that good. That I'm not really even kidding good. you. That's for eagle. All right, 200 on the dot for me. I'm going five iron, playing at about 220. Anything just a little right of it. It's probably a really good spot to be. Match play is all about momentum, and this is this is big. I mean, taking either, you have two options here. You can hit it on the green, or you can hit it in the water. <laughs> yeah, it's funny those are the only two options, but I'm, I'm okay with it. Oh. Shit. Oh. Nice shot. A little bit of a miss hit, but I like it when miss hits are on the green from 230. Oh boy, here we go. Mike is in there closer. He had a great shot. I got an uphill putt here. Let's just drain this for the eagle. It's so different with match play. It's like, I don't care about the next putt, really. I want to be aggressive and stay aggressive all day. Oh. I'm happy with that. Happy with that. Pretty good opportunity. Up the hill, I can be aggressive. I think I got a pretty good line. It's just a matter of kind of getting this thing to the hole. No way. These are the ones that I need to learn how to make. I've probably missed more than I have in the cut that amount of my brain. Step up and knock it in. Nice spot. I'm gonna remember that later. How do you see a match play? It's, it's to give them the three footers early so that later on in the round they haven't hit them. Oh, so that just built your confidence. Yep. So you suck. Once again, a tied hole, so we're staying on the back tee here. We got 382 yards with wind really hard off of the left. So I'm gonna hit driver, just I'm going to hammer it at those trees. And if it goes into the trees, I'm perfectly okay with it. That's a risk I'm willing to take. And if it gets outside of them, it's perfect. Dude, that is your driver shot. Powerful. It's not even touching it. In the trees. You can't hit it any better than that. That's like, you know, you can't be mad at a good shot when you hit a good shot just like you want to hit it. Oh. Sit there. Got a chance. This man just had flashbacks of his tournament he played. I'm gonna have to figure this D stick out right now. That sucks. Dude, I'm telling you though, that, that ball flight that you're hitting right now, you see that? Special. Yeah, it's deep. It's it's so crazy because it's simply like that shaft is it's literally a, a 5S. If it kicks the face close, like it's the same speed and distance, everything. Right. And it's not even like that ball, it's the wind and literally it, it did not touch it. It's like I was hitting in a simulator. Right. I mean I've been fighting that for so long and then I just Taylor made sent the uh, USA driver which you know, obviously didn't help the USA at all. They, they should have used it. They didn't. And that's probably why they lost the Ryder Cup, but it's neither here nor there. Guys, we're taking a drop here. We're going to make par the hard way. 89 yards. Kind of faded on me a little bit, Jacob. I'll take that. We got an uphill putt for par. Mike is over in the trees. He's probably going to make par, so it's going to be a tough hole to have. 60 yards here, absolutely just nuked that drive. I can't decide, I kind of want to go under this little branch, but then I, lo I left my wedge, so I don't think I can go under it. I won't even mess with it, I'll just play it normal. That was not that bad too. Look at that, that is unbelievable. That's a really, really bad golf shot. Lag her up! That ball did exactly what I thought it was going to do. There was so much wind, as soon as I got it up, it just took the spin off and ran. I'll take that, 10 out of 10. I'm telling you, that's just, I mean, that guys, that's that's that close, right? There, from being outside the friend zone. If he was that much closer, I would've gave it to him. Wow. Nice. This is for him to win the hole. Tap this in for par, let's get on to the next. This wind, it does things to you. Got a putt right into my shadow too. He just backed off twice on this two footer. Oh my gosh, jeez. I mean, See, I did that because I'm playing chestnut checkers. I'm actually playing head games with him right in the moment right now. <laughs> he made that so scary. Like, he could have just got up there and tapped it in, but I mean, he, like he even 
keep that putt a little soft. Like it had time to break and everything. Now you finally, you want a hole, mm -hmm. okay? Now you get to decide which two boxes. Yeah, I'm gonna want. see, this is at the blue. So it's one up from the gold. I wanna see what the yardage is. It's straight down wind, so I wanna get a comfortable yardage. I actually like that. It's about a 150 shot probably, a little less, which is a really comfortable shot for me. So we're gonna, go, we're gonna go blue. Okay. Like I just said in the GoPro, I won the hole, so I get to pick. This is 155, this is what I'm going for. It's one up from the tips. It's a nice, comfortable pitching wedge for me. Oh, oh go in. Oh, oh just lost. That wind just, you could see the ball wanting to like spin and get controlled and it just couldn't, but I, I like it. It's not, not bad. Downwind pitching wedge here. Did you just hit big ball first? Is that gonna get to the green? You okay? Yeah, I'm good. That, did that hurt you emotionally? Okay. All right, stay in it. Swing, our swing is so bad right now, but if you stay in it, we scrap together some, some halves here. A little heavy again. I mean, I'm catching the big ball before the little ball. All right, Grant's got a little work left there, but I got a downhill right to left. It's definitely going to be moving some with some pace the last couple feet. So I got to respect it, but I want to be aggressive as well because I assume Grant's going to make that. So probably going to need to make this to, to, to win the hole. Oh, that's good. Thanks. Gosh, I didn't know how close I was going to have to get it for the man to give me one. The early step too. Woo! Gosh, well, see, that is a pro. I love golf sometimes because I hit two awful golf shots. I chunked my tee shot. I chunked my pitch. The ultimate eraser. The ultimate eraser. This is the eraser. This is like a giant just rubber eraser. <laughs> you still get to pick the tee box. I've not. I think I'm picking the tips here. You see, now that's smart for you. Yeah. We're kind of. Heading back into this cross breeze, you hit it further than me. It's a relatively short hole, but if you move up, it really doesn't change much as far as like you drive. Driver in hand, I'm gonna hit it right at that big lone safari looking tree on the right there. It's a little bit downwind off the right, so it should pull it back to the left just a little bit. Fun fact about today's video, it's actually sponsored by Fuji Kerr. So anybody who subscribes to the channel from this video or drops a comment has a chance to win a brand new set of tailor-made P790s with the fully graphite axiom shafts from Fuji Kerr. They're the shafts that I hit and they're absolutely amazing. So right now, drop a comment and subscribe and uh, share this video with a friend so you'll have a chance. Oh, it got through it all. Did it? Fairway, yeah. Good Dude, shot. You hit it with high ball speeds, it even has boosters coming down, so it just powers through things. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's really good from Grant there. I feel like you're talking a little more trash a little earlier in the, in the match than you usually are. Are you not used to being down? No, I'm not. Not to you. One can't argue with facts. I was like doing some recapping on this year of my golf game, and I, I, I really think that it's probably like 10 to 1 on how many times I've actually won in any matches that I've played. And you know what it largely has depended on? Your putting. My putting has been a problem, but my putting is a result of something else. And you want to know what that is? It's my driving. Your driving? Yes. My driving has... There's been tournaments where I've had eight penalty strokes due to my driver. I mean, that makes sense because today you've kept it in play. Literally, my driving has been the worst it's been all my entire golf career. And I think it's large. Like, most people would say, yeah, working on a short. I, I think my short game hasn't been great, but you gotta get the driver largely because I haven't been hitting the ball in play. See, so artist here, Tig? Let's get a little cold ball. Here we go, cold ball. Hit him with the Q6. He'll get you exact number six times in a row. 111.1, 111.1. What is 11. it? 111.1. 111.1. Want a lail? 52 degree. Want a lail? How'd that go? I'm gonna change your brakes soon because that putt's gonna be fast. Dang. 94 yards for me. I'm gonna go 54 and kind of play it low. Big thing is just trusting the number because I always come up short. So I'm gonna try to make sure and get it there. A little reaction cam here. This is this is where this will tell me a lot how Tig hits this wedge shot. If he hits it close, it tells me he's comfortable. If he doesn't. Oh my. 
Go. I did the thing where I do the thing and leave it short. Nope, not it. I think we got him. Right where we want him. Okay, well, mine landed closer to pin hide than I thought, and it ripped back off that ridge. That pin is right on the edge of it. I like this putt, though. It's uphill, breaking back toward me. Pretty good chance at this. I'm just going to give it a run. That never broke left. That's good. <laughs> wow. That was close. This man is ruthless today. Grant has a fast putt. It's down grain, downhill, downwind. All the odds are stacked against him here. This would be the one where he just like makes it though. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna give you that. We're one down now and after five holes, we're now just warming up. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna let Grant introduce this hole because if I talk too much, then people get rather annoyed by it. Really? Dude, it is about to pour. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Look. Here comes radar, man. Yeah, I'm a meteorologist on the side. I sit in my garage and I have like six TVs I look at. It's amazing. Par five, six hole. We got the glove snatcher behind us. He actually just stole my glove. I got it back. I couldn't find it anywhere. Mm -hmm. If you or a loved one suffered from a glove snatcher? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you or a loved one su suffers from someone who steals your golf gloves, they should probably get sponsored by Taylor Page. <laughs> <laughs> Good. It's a little too far left. This is my chance. <laughs> oh yeah. Showed up when he needed to. Lay up here. Just need like a 210 shot. Got a four iron and a draw. Hook. Oh no. No. Sit there. Oh. oh, you lucky dog. That was a big old draw. That was just too much draw. All right. All right, I'm tired of saying all right, so that's another word I could use. I got um, 270. <laughs> I got 270, so I'm going to lay up. I'm going to hit seven iron, I think, because it's into the wind. I want to try to get just inside that 100-yard number. You got no siding. I think Tate caught a tree, and they're never nice. These, these palm trees here, they'll just eat your ball up so it might be on the other side of that tree wow that was an adventure i thought that ball got stuck in the tree and it popped out straight back into the wind 170 i'm gonna hit seven that's a good break because i never saw that ball i don't know how it ended yeah, up here it... oh oh it's right at it holy cow it's short is it i hit that so good it's short of the green yeah that's crazy that is crazy. That was a perfectly executed golf shot. Here we go. This is growing up in Florida. We have a 20 mile per hour wind right now. I'm gonna take two clubs extra. I'm gonna hit a nine iron from 125. Punch it. <laughs> what? What? That ball just went sideways. <laughs> Guys, I have the opportunity right now to pull off one of the craziest shots in YouTube. The green is running away from me and I'm plugged on the down slope here. Look at this. I honestly have no idea what to do. I don't even know if I can get it out of this plug lie. Oh, that was the goal. I wanted it to run up there. Let's chip this in. That had a chance. Oh, God. Guys, just put a little pressure on Tig. We could do it right here with this putt. That's good, Tig. All right. Figured that might be the case. That was conceded. That's a par for me. That gets me to two up in the match, um, which is, you know, I'm going <laughs> to... I am gonna take it and I'm gonna run with it and I'm gonna try to keep that two up lead because Grant, as we've seen in previous matches, can do some crazy things. So, on to hole number seven, the par four. This hole is crazy. All right, these are some of the craziest conditions we've had all year. We're getting to that time in Florida where it starts raining and you know just nasty weather all day. But I won that hole, but I'm gonna play this tee box from the back because I can hit comfortably hit my driver from back here. So, driver right at that right bunker. Good. 
Oh my god. Absolutely hammered that and it went 240 yards. Yeah. I should have went by Walmart and picked this man up an anchor, dude. He's gonna blow away. Yeah, that'll work. Very well executed shot there. Can't mess around with that. 73? Holy crud. Okay, I got a flight of six iron that is long into this hole. Wow, that is long. All right, 155, I'm gonna hit seven irons, kind of hit something low, kind of like Grant did. Just, I'm gonna aim in between his ball and the pin, and if it goes back to the right, then that's good. Oh, a little heavy, but it might take the spin off. Hmm, not bad. I consider that pretty good. It was weird because it, made, it was like a little toe heavy, maybe. I don't even know what that means, but. I hit it. I hit it exactly where I needed to to get it to about 12 feet for birdie. So if that if hitting it heavy does that, then I'll hit it heavy more often. Okay, I'm, I'm catching on slowly. Off the hill, left to right, big pot. Tig's in there pretty close. Get a good shot. Oh my god, Grant! Woo, that's bad. Gosh, I really can't tell what this does. It's got to break to the right ever so slightly. That was a good stroke. Oh, see right there. That's straight. I have it. Yeah, you got this. Yeah, great two putt. Woo! Wait, you using that new spider? Yep. Spider 2 or Spider X? The X. Ooh, I've good. tried them both. I like this one. I'm an X guy. They are Feels really good. good. It's 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 just I don't know. I, I just have been using this with Don insert and I just I love the way it that have the hole there, Micah is still two up. But this is gonna be one of those comebacks our kids are talking about generations down. Cause that can feel so special. Think about that, we're on the interweb forever. Like, yeah, you just don't wanna, here's the deal. YouTube is cool because we are creating this whole storyline of our, our entire 20s that our kids are gonna be able to watch. And right. our grandkids are gonna be able to watch if the world lasts that long. So think about your kids and grandkids being able to watch you play golf this much. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That is cool to think about. I mean. We're gonna be great, 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 great grandma. All right, par three, number eight, straight into the wind, 176. I'm honestly thinking about hitting a five iron, like a 210 yard club. Oh my God. I hit that good and it tried to do what it was supposed to do and then it just got, I mean, that wind just absolutely violated that ball. Four iron, here we go. I knew that's what I did that. Oh my god, did I even hit that? Still gonna be better than mine though. You've gotta be kidding me right now. Whoa! Oh. Okay, that's actually a pretty good spot. I, was th I feel like I hit a rock there or something. It actually got it almost a pin high. It's not a terrible club choice, it's just a very hard shot. Now it's kind of into the wind, into the grain. So if I can get this in there close, make my par, put some pressure on the old Granosaurus. I'll take that. Okay, this just feels, this looks beautiful. I mean, for as bad as I hit that golf ball, we have a really easy chip here. Oh! You almost landed in the hole. You almost okay. dunked it. Yeah, I wasn't trying to be that aggressive, though. I think Grant's still out. It don't look like there's too much here. It's pretty straight down the hill. That's nah, straight up and down. Yeah. Woo! Okay. A little pressure on Tig. Yeah, I like it though. It's good for me. Pretty straight putt. If anything, it's gonna leak a little left. Right edge confident. Good putt. Thank you. Good putt. That's what we like to see. Two up onto the ninth hole. That was a tight hole, so we still have to play from the back tees. Number nine's kind of funky. You can kind of hit any club you want off the, the tee except for putter. Let's keep this lead up, baby. All right, number nine, straight down wind. I'm gonna go right at the bunker you can see up there by the green. If anything, a little bit right is better than a little bit left, so. A little too far right. Yeah, that started off perfectly, and I think there's a lot of wind up there past those trees. I'm going with a low runner just like Tig, but I gotta keep it left. Look, dude, that ball is not spinning when no it got up above way. the trees. That's just a, that's on the same line as Tig. Yeah. We're both gonna be blocked out by the trees, I believe. So, gonna have to get creative here. 
I'm, I'm on a I'm on a new trajectory with myself and I'm becoming a different golfer. Ball says 155. 65? 55. 65. Okay, I gotta go up over this tree. Nine iron, 165. Oh, I like this. Those a little heavy and they're getting that there. Little, that was a little chunky, but it got there. That's a great golf shot. All right, 115 for me. This is a great angle. I got 50 degree. So I'm going low. Wow. Dang, it's actually like almost downwind. <laughs> almost downwind and going low. I'm going to aim at Grant's ball. <laughs> I feel like I'm executing the shots right now. I'm just not playing the wind. The wind's playing me. I mean, from up there, I thought it was gonna break to the right, but there's just no possible way that's gonna happen. I'm gonna play it straight. Just outside of Grant here. Gives me opportunity to make this and put some serious pressure on it. Oh, oh. Whoa! I realize the quality putt. I got the read. The perfect read. Come on. You gotta be kidding. Good cut. No shot. Mine good though? No. Yeah, I'm just kidding. You can pick yours up. Mine just due to grain has to go a little bit to the left, but I'm keeping it inside the hole. It's a nice sturdy putt here. That's hot. Gosh, I'm waiting for Tig to miss one of those and he has not yet. Frustrating. Two down through nine holes, nine more holes to go. 18 hole match, guys. Hopefully you all are enjoying this. I'm having a good time just trying to find my golf swing, come back on TIG, make it close, come down to the end. It's a solid nine holes for your boy. A little bit different than you've seen in past days. Like Grant said, he's, he's uh, waiting for me. See, that, that tells me everything I need to know about your mentality. You're waiting for me to lose, you're not trying to win. You know that you know the old quote that says, losers focus on winners and winners focus on winning? Yeah. All right, par five, par five number 10. We're arguing if birds are real or not. Drop it in the comments. Do you think birds are real? Um, I personally don't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That'll get them riled up. Par five, number 10, straight into the wind. It's 530 yards playing 590. It was just simply getting a different driver shaft. Sounds like we need a new video. I got new clothes. I go. All right. Right side of the fairway. Not bad. This is where the lane kind of. This is where it can help you out. You going for it, big guy? Yeah. I'm going for it, big boy. I really can't take this pin on. I'm gonna try and take it right and see if I can roll it up. So just right of the screen, and then have a chip for Eagle. Oh my gosh. Right where I wanted it, yeah. That's a great job. Didn't want to get any crazier than that, Jacob. You hear me? I hear you. 236 yards. It's definitely a little bit downwind, but it's off of the right, so. What is Tuna, it? bro, not, you yeah. uncultured little There's a scene. lot happening right now, and I'm just trying to play golf. That's enough. What, the wind? <laughs> is this back into the wind now? <laughs> no, I'm going right over to the bunker. I got four iron. I hooked it, but I think that actually helped it to work out. Got chunk and run. You play, we've been we've been playing a lot of chunk and runs today, well, me and you. I haven't. Okay, big shot here. Mike is gonna two putt. I, I just can feel it, so I got to get up and down here for birdie just to have it. Where are you going, Grant? I mean, I, I like if the hole's right there, it's a great shot. It was like you know a good 15 feet right. All right, I got a long putt. I got a long putt here for uh, for Eagle. It's gonna be breaking a ton. I think I gotta play it almost all the way out at Grant's ball. That was that was pretty good speed. 
Not good, but it's good. No generosity today, huh? No. Get a little free pass for a good putt. You gotta finish it off down the hill right to left. Oh, I like that line that I got on the ball. Oh, it's an early step. Come on, Tig. Dude, stop being so solid right now. You need to knock this off. That's a have with a birdie on a par five. I'm still two down. That was an important putt. And guys, this is hole number 11. I'm two up. This hole is drivable today with where they have the tee boxes. It's 291 to the pin. It's 260 to cover. I'm hitting five wood and I'm going just a little right of the pin. Whoa, whoa, put a tracer on the finger. I just put this shaft in this club and I was so afraid that I was gonna miss it left and I just, you know, I said, you know what? Right's in play. All I see is the pen. That's a great spot to miss it. Yeah, right side of the green. Is that long? This is gonna be interesting. I think you're gonna actually be in a better place. Oh yeah, you're fine. Oh, that's not a ball. We might both be long here. And this is a little bit tricky. I mean, the biggest thing is I wanna get this on the green, but it's like I also need it to spin. Oh. I will take that. I got a pretty tough one here. I gotta carry it over a bunker and get it to stop. The wind is helping us. It's kind of coming into our face. We should be able to land this somewhat soft. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Dude, that was close. Let's go. All right, I really wanna make this. I think Grant's probably gonna make that. So up the hill, I think it's breaking a little right. Not much though. You gotta trust the you gotta trust the intuition. I I'm glad I backed off. If not, I would have missed it just right. But this putt became a little harder now. It's par for me. I mean I hit it on my line. Three down now. Three down. How many holes to play? Plenty of time here. Like, oh, you get to pick the tees and you're gonna. I'm staying back. You're staying all the staying way. Staying back as far as I can. As per today's rules, since I won the hall, I get to pick the tee box. I'm gonna stay as far back as we can here. It's downwind, so I think I can use my distance to my advantage and, you know, potentially still. It's kind of the same as going forward, except I'm staying back. Nice. <laughs> Got that thing low running. It's gonna make the fairway left. No, it's not. Oh. Dead center. Yeah, like I can hit this driver shaft really high, but I absolutely love hitting low drives. It's, it it just, it fulfills something in me that I haven't had for a very long time. That's scared. Uh, that's scared. That's fine. Fine. Go right, right of the fairway action? Yeah, not a great strike. 141 yards. Not a bad angle here at all. This is where it starts. This is where we need the comeback to really start. Nine iron, 141. Oh, the fire. That thing grass. jumped on me. Stick to the game plan, 126, low 50 degree. Keep it a little right of it. Kind of a little low spinner. Uh, got, it's down and off the left. I think the distance is really good. I just pulled it. Actually, I hit it right I was aiming, but the wind didn't touch it. Back into the wind here. Not ideal on that approach shot. Can't be doing this right now being three down. That's really good. I thought we did it. I really did. That's a touch of class from the young man. I got a really fast putt that is breaking a lot. What do you think this can do to him if I make it? I mean, it's gonna hurt. Sit. Gotta go over an old cup here. 
great fun. Oh my gosh! You see the little? No! Oh, it it just fell in. If there was a gust of wind, that wasn't going in. He keeps the three up lead with how many holes to play, Jacob? Five? Five left, three down. It's doable. It really is. I was feeling incredibly confident over that first putt, and I got a little bit excited with it, but hole in one bowl hole. All right, we got like 170 yards, I think. It's very it's very tempting to go right at this pin, but if you get a little bit too short, it can be a, can be a problem. So on to hole number 13. I got a three up lead. Let's keep the pedal down, okay? I got to keep the pedal down. 163 straight into the fan. What are you hitting, five stuff? It's a seven iron too. Oh my gosh! That could go in the hole. Oh! Oh! oh. It stayed up on top of the ridge, dude. That landed so close, dude. If that lands two feet shorter, it comes right back down that ridge and actually has a chance. If those are 10 feet shorter, they're so good. All right, I'm just out here. This one is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. You just got to get to this edge and let it tip over and it'll get there. Oh. Now I got to make this. All right, dude, that, I hate saying that. Like, you should grow your vocabulary. Vocabulary. That's great. You can say okay. Okay, that is uh, two great pars <laughs> on a uh, on a par three. We're on to hole number 14. I got a three up lead. You gotta keep the pedal to the metal here. Straight back into the wind again, so I'm going low. And I'm going right where the cart path curves around. Hopefully get this one in the fairway. I, I really do like this golf hole. I like the second shot a lot, so I want one in the fairway here. Shaft is so good. Ah, that's good. It's fine. Actually, there's water right there. But I think you're short of it. I'm hitting that so good. That was a well struck shot. I just need to aim a little more left. Yeah, that should be perfect. Is that the sand? That was hit. Okay. 135 here into a breeze. I got a nine iron takes down over the hill. I almost think I need an eight. It's probably playing like 155 with this breeze and out of the bunker. All right. It's gotta stay warm. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Oh, 95 yards, I think it's back into the wind. Gosh, yeah, it is. Sit. Sit. Yeah. Where'd that go? Oh, long. Yeah. Whoa, okay. I've never had to play that shot. I was lost. You need to almost land it way short. I know, but I think I needed to take more clubs. Saying you need to play the number 20 yard short of the pen to carry it. So it's, it's gonna release. You're on a down slope out of the rough. You need to play it like front edge of the green. Maybe. All right, this is my one chance. I mean, Tig's up in the rough. Pretty difficult shot down the hill. 52 degree, gonna play it low. Let it roll up there. Dude. What, where am I going? If I could aim, I mean, I'm always pin high. Like, we always got the distance down. Actually, it's, it's a consistent right miss. You know what, I'm, I'm looking to chip this in. I'm, I'm not letting up. Wait, that could be the start. That could be the start of everything. Sack up here. Got so scared of it two times in a row. I make this, it's okay. Like this, this hole is, you know, what happened, it's not that big a deal. Well, I mean, unless he makes this, then I gotta make it actually. He could have it. If he makes this, it's for bogey. I could see him doing it. I really could. I just gotta act like he's gonna make, I just gotta focus. I mean, match play, you gotta expect your opponent to always do the best, so you gotta expect I gotta make this, so I'm not shocked. Oh my 
gosh. Oh. What a poorly played hole. What are you putting for? And I just made double? Yep. All right, you're good. All right, he conceded the putt, so we're only two down. That sounds really good. Like two down is, you know what I mean? Like three is like a lot, but like two, just two holes. How many holes do we have left? Four. All right, Grant, you got your first tee box of the day. I know. We're gonna be teeing off from the uh, senior tees. Way up. Which tee box are you playing from? I, I got a lock uh, back in here. I'm two down with three to play. Oh, I'm going way, we're going up here to the, we're going up to a, here to a wedge shot. That's what I want. Okay. A wedge shot up here. Guys, I mean, this is the way you want to match to see. I really didn't, like Grant said, I, I didn't make a mistake all day until that shot right there. And I just, I really got, that was completely mental, but I'm going to lock back in here. I'm two, I'm two up with three to play. This is, so I got to play. trust all the practice four that I put play. in here. Go. Four holes, one. Oh yeah, four to play, yeah. Come on, let's go. 115 right at the pin. I, I picked way. This is the front tee. I get close. Oh, it's, oh my gosh, it might go in. Whoa! How close is that? What'd you play that, Grant? I played it 115. All right, I'm going to go 54. I'm going to play the same yardage. That's what we like to see. Yeah, that landed pin high and spun back. It was gonna be a little putt off here on hole number 16. No, 16. We just met a guy from Kentucky on the 13th hole right there, and he they're from Kentucky, and they had this real country accent like I did growing up. And I, I mean, I got back in the cart, and I'm literally talking like I mean, I'm because like that's my that's my born language. Right, right. Yeah. Your, your accent was so I, much stronger. I just said my born language. That was my accent coming back out. But those were those guys were legends. Um, they work on power lines, and that's I respect that work a lot. That takes a lot. So it, you know, if you guys are watching this video, thank you so much for the support. And uh, thanks for what you do to keep the power on. That was clutch, hey. That showed me a lot. I mean, that, that really showed me a lot about Tig because I stuck that. And he stood up there and hit one really close. I mean, he's not closer than me, of course, but he's got a decent look here. He's going to give me a re. Huge, huge opportunity here for Tig. This would hurt a lot. Gosh, that was a great putt. Just a little misread. If Grant makes this, we got a match on our hands, and I just got to stay locked in. I mean, I didn't come this far to let it go now. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Oh my god. I oh thought god. that was gonna go left. I did. This is an absolute. We're on a tightrope right now. This is absolutely insane, guys. I hope you're enjoying this, man. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Remember, if you subscribe and drop a comment and share this video with a friend, you will have a chance to win a brand new set of TaylorMade P790s with the Axiom Fujitura graphite shafts, these beauties right here. So do that, let's get on to the last three holes, I'm two up, come on. That was your chance there, bud. Got three more chances. Oh, dang. I mean, me, I, I thought I made mine and then I just, I just felt so confident that Grant was gonna make yeah. that and I was gonna be back to one down, but I gotta keep this lead, I gotta keep the pedal to the metal. Let's do this. Two down, three to play. That hurt, but playing a tee box up here, par four, need a good drive. I mean, that's okay. I want to go right in between the two bunkers at that tree down there. I want to get a ball in the fairway. I don't want to have one of them funny downhill lies again. Left. Man, I hope it gets bounced into the fairway. Well, guys, there's like three balls and I can't reach them. They're in this like little wet area right here where my ball was. I just can't get to them. It's like casual water. So we're going to drop right where this, it's all marked off. So you get a free drop here. One on one. It's a perfect yardage. That absolutely perfect 66 yards I really only want to carry this about 60 anything a little less so 66 so that's my number that I'm trying to get is 66 
kind of dug it into the ground, but it had spin on it. Just need to make that and close this guy out. I don't want him lingering like this. <laughs> I didn't want him lingering this long, so it's time to time to shut the door on him here. Stop giving him any hope. This is my greatest chance to take. You might want to move that. I need to absolutely pull this right now. Have to do it. Oh, it scared me. I thought, a little meat. A little meat, but I didn't. I expected Tig to make that, so I don't know. I kind of got a little bit of a line off that. I think mine's just a left edge putt. You have no idea how much my, how much I want to make this. Nice putt. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for Tig. I really am. Like, I want to, I want to see him do well, and that was, that was good playing today, Tig. Thank you. I, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's YouTube, but that means a lot to me because I've taken a lot of L's, especially against Grant, and uh, he's proven to be a very tough competitor. And today, I feel like I, I won today. I mean, you had so many birdies. You were like two, three under on today's round. Really solid. Yeah, feels good to finish on a birdie too. I, that's that's the way I wanted to finish. I didn't want to go out with like limping in like a hurt dog. Like I wanted to, I wanted to win. That was our first ever 18-hole match play yeah, on one channel. So maybe Never you guys done. will see this on Grant's channel, but hey. Once again, guys, Grant's channel is linked in the top description. Thanks for coming on the channel today. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thanks for all the support. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Skyler's not feeling good about his boss being taken down today. Look at that.